Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is Episode 9 of How to Survive EVE Online. We are going to take on the third step of the industry chain. If you accidentally closed the agent conversation window and you don't remember which agent is the industry agent, you can go to the Help button, Support tab, Show Career Agents, and you can start conversation from the Career Agents window. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Now, in the third step, uh, Hoover Nair of Center for Advanced Study School wants us to manufacture, to obtain for him two units of civilian afterburner. Uh, you could buy these off of the market, but he is going to provide you with a blueprint to manufacture them. So you don't have to buy them off the market. So, let's click accept, and the built-in game tutorials will provide some text for you about the subject of manufacturing. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need that. A lot of things are constructed by players. All right. Uh, let's take a look at an ordinary afterburner in the market, for example. Uh, in the market, things that are bought or sold by players with, will have an expiration time of 90 days or less on their market orders. NPCs always have an expiration time of 364 days. None of these afterburners are being bought or sold by NPCs. It's all players. Ships, modules, ammunition, almost everything is bought or sold or made by players. Almost everything. Okay. So, manufacturing is an important subject in EVE Online, and uh, I hate the bags under my eyes. I mismade my avatar when I did this at the start. You see, this is why you want to make sure you're... Anyway, I digress. So anyway, we now have a blueprint. If you right-click and show info, uh, you will see uh, attributes. Under the attributes tab, you will see manufacturing time. That's going to take about two minutes. If you go to the bill of materials tab, you will see that you need the industry skill to level one. I finished training that while I was waiting for this video to process. That should have only taken 10 minutes. You're also going to need 76 titanium for every one unit of civilian afterburner. We need two. So, right click the blueprint, select manufacturing. We want to run this blueprint two times, and we need to pick a manufacturing installation. Oh gee whiz, this station got busy. Um, you can sort the list according to next free time by left-clicking the header. Left-click a manufacturing assembly line, and click use assembly line. Click OK. Oops, it looks like someone cut in line. Select an assembly line again. All right, let's try that again. Use assembly line, click OK, and click Accept Quote, and that will install the job. There are manufacturing slots in many stations throughout the universe, and if you need to find them, not all stations will have manufacturing slots, keep that in mind. So if you need to find these manufacturing slots, uh, you go to the Science and Industry tab, Let's make this window a little bit bigger. Click on the Installations tab. Go to Range, Set Current Region. And you can sort this by number of jumps. So here in Clelanon, a lot of the assembly lines are busy. That's because a lot of other new players are using the assembly lines for their tutorial jobs. If everything is booked for the next two hours and you really don't feel like waiting, you can always load all the stuff that you need, the titanium, the blueprint, whatever else the blueprint requires, and take it to another station. For example, one jump out from Clelanon, there's Luce 6 Moon 1, the Federation Customs Assembly Plant, and a lot of those assembly lines are free. So if all of the assembly lines in your local station are busy, you can go elsewhere two jumps out. I've got a couple of stations in Ekwenbiran. 
I've got a couple of stations in the Leda, so I've got options within a couple of jumps. To check the status of your jobs, go back to the Jobs tab, and click the Get Jobs button. Let's make the window a little bit wider. You can left-click the entry in question, and time to completion. Well, we put this thing through two runs at two minutes each, so should be four minutes total, and there's about a minute and 46 seconds left. I'm not going to bore you with waiting for the rest of this. Oh, I forgot to mention that these manufacturing jobs run in the background, so you can go do other stuff. You can leave station, you can run missions, you can go do mining, you can log off, uh, and these manufacturing jobs will still run in the background. Some manufacturing jobs, especially for large things like battleships, take a number of hours to complete one unit. So you don't have to be here in station babysitting it, you can even leave the solar system and come back later. I've skipped ahead to a part of the video where the manufacturing job is almost complete. It is now ready, so click the deliver button in the lower right corner of the science and industry window. And let's close the window. Uh, right click the agent, start conversation. Everything is green check marks, so go ahead and complete mission. And you are given one unit of expanded cargo hold one and 268,000 credits. It's worth noting that when a mission rewards you with an item, it appears in the items hangar of the station of the station where the agent is located, which may not necessarily be where you are. In the next episode, we are going to take on the fourth step of the industry chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.